Hey y'all, how are all my beautiful friends doing? I hope y'all all are having a great day and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome back to Crime Time with Mel. Today's video is a very unfortunate and sad video about Harmony Montgomery's case. Now, the girlfriend of Harmony Montgomery's dad, Adam, was found dead in a hotel room. previous videos that I've covered on Harmony, I will go ahead and link them up here. And if you would like to go ahead and check them out. It's a very sad case and a lot to unpack. So we're not going to go too much into it because again, it's a lot. If you do not remember Kelsey Small, she was the girlfriend of Adam Montgomery, which is Harmony's father. She was dating him right before Adam was arrested about the abuse and neglect on Harmony. And y'all, this, this woman was beautiful. She was absolutely stunning. And just to let y'all know, she was not connected at all between anything with Harmony, Adam, and Adam's ex. Like, nothing. She had no involvement from what I understand. She didn't even start dating Adam until Harmony disappeared. Kelsey was found on Wednesday, March 13th, dead in a hotel room, and police said that her death was not suspicious. And according to an affidavit that I discussed in a previous video, Kelsey and Adam were found living in Adam's car on December 31st, 2021. Now this was when he was arrested for the connection of Harmony, his seven-year-old daughter that disappeared years prior. He claims, if you don't know, he claims that he last saw Harmony when Crystal, Harmony's mother, picked her up and took her back home. Kelsey did speak with detectives and she was questioned and she said that she knew about Adam's four other children that he had with his previous wife, Kayla, but Adam never mentioned Harmony whatsoever, never talked about her. Police were hoping that they could question Kelsey some more and just try to figure out if she knew any other information and if she did, that she would eventually let detectives know. But unfortunately, that hope is gone. Crystal, which is Harmony's mother, said that she has not seen Harmony since April 2019. That obviously conflicts what Adam is alleging. Adam says, again, that Crystal picked Harmony up in November of 2019 and took her back to Manchester. And if you don't know, Adam was arrested in early January and charged with assault for allegedly hitting Harmony. And he has not requested a bail hearing. I don't know why. Like, that's odd to me. Kelsey's cousin did speak out and she said that she hates that she even had this connection with Adam and even more so hates that her last few moments on this earth were spent with Adam and his connection to this man. Now, police records have shown that Kelsey was arrested outside a sober home where she was living and charged with a DUI and this was her second offense. She was released on bail and she was due in court next week, which would have been five days. So I think it was this week that she was due in court. But then, unfortunately, she was found dead in that hotel. Which if police are saying that her death doesn't sound suspicious, that leads me to believe that either it was an OD or, God forbid, she took her own life. And that's horrible, I hope. None of y'all feel that way. It is an awful, awful feeling. Um, one of my best friends since childhood did that, and it's horrible. It's gut-riching. It gives me a pit in my stomach every single time to even talk about. So I just hope that this beautiful woman is at peace and her family finds peace and closure and they can, you know, cope with it healthy. I don't know. I just... My heart goes out to her family that they even have to be put in this position. This case is just all around disturbing and heartbreaking and the community is not giving up on locating Harmony. The law enforcement is not giving up on locating Harmony and 
we need to bring this beautiful baby girl home. On March 21st, a grand jury did indict both Kayla and Adam. Adam was indicted on a felony charge of second degree assault for, alleg for allegedly striking Harmony in the face in July of 2019. He was also arrested on charges for endangerment of a child's welfare. And Kayla, who is Adam's estranged wife, who has a whole other story, I believe she was abused by Adam. She was cited on a felony charge for theft by deception. She allegedly lied to the healthcare system that Harmony was in her possession so that she could get food stamps when she was missing at that time. Kayla is due back in court on April 7th and Adam is scheduled to be back in court on June 28th. If y'all have any tips or any knowledge of Harmony's disappearance, and you may think it's small, but it very well could be that just start that gets this whole ball rolling. So, so please text or call this 24-hour tip line at 603-203-6060. And if, again, you have not seen those previous videos I covered, I would love for you to check them out. It's a very sad story, and the word needs to be spread about Harmony because she needs to be brought home. Crystal, her biological mother, is avidly looking for her. And this is just disgusting that so many of these children can go unnoticed in the public eye and not be questioned. Like, how does a child go missing for so long and nobody knows about it? Just like Oakley Carlson, she's been missing for years. And the only reason why that even came to the attention of the public and law enforcement is because of her principal spoke out. So I'm sorry this was such a short video, but I do have some more scheduled to be out next week. And I will let y'all know if any updates come out about Harmony, what happens at their court cases, I will also let y'all know. And if y'all know who this is, the queen, then you're my people. But y'all, I've got to get some new shorts. I just, I'm going to go on a little tangent here, but I need to get some new shorts. Please tell me I am not the only person that has gained weight. <laughs> it's so tragic. But I went to go put on shorts because I was packing to get ready to go. By the time y'all are watching this, I'll already be in Florida. But I was getting ready to pack to go to Florida. And I tried on like five pairs of shorts and they do not fit. I look like a potato. Y'all, we need to get in shape this year. 2022 is our year for me and you to get in shape. We need to go outside. We need to walk. We need to do some crunches and sit-ups and push-ups, all the above. So y'all, hold me accountable to that. <laughs> but that's it for today's video. I really appreciate each and every single one of y'all for watching. Um, I, I love y'all and I hope y'all are having a great week. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Please be safe out there. Please be aware of your surroundings and I will see you on Tuesday's video. Bye y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.